Sir Julius Chan began his political career in 1968, June 4th. In the pre-independence National Assembly, he was elected to represent Namatanai District of New Island Province and was re-elected in 1972, 1977, 1982, 1987 and 1992. He was Deputy Prime Minister four times and Minister of Finance twice. He first became the Prime Minister in 1980, succeeding PNG's first Prime Minister, Grand Chief Sir Michael Samare. Governor for Enga, Sir Peter Ipatas, thanks Sir Julius for his service. Come up for 50 years, he started politics, not on behalf of the people of Enga and of course the country. Congratulations for 50 years. Service to the people of this country. Sir Peter also thanks Sir Julius for his contribution to his political career. Because without uh, Sir Julius, me and an upstart governor. I'm uh, I've only been the Prime Minister of the country in 1995. Mr. Council President yet. And making some like decision on this time. In making me come up governor of Longhenga, the people of Longhenga, he must look somewhere on this place in the vents and long the right honorable Sir Julius. Sir Julius last year published a book called Playing the Game, based on his political career. Minister for Intergovernment Relations Kevin Yusifu said that only a few politicians can write a book on politics and continue to play the game. And therefore I recommend one of his books called Playing the Game. You have to read this book because Sir Julius is still playing the game. For many leaders, their books are written when they are already retired from the game. But typical of Sir Julius, as you all know, his book is alive and he's still alive and he's still playing the game. Sir Julius highlighted different political achievements during the celebration. He was ready for self-government and that we would be ready for independence soon after. And the world listened. The world agreed. It was a New Islander who was responsible for the creation of the banking, financial and economic systems of our new country. Creating the Central Bank of Papua New Guinea and the Kinan Toya. Sir Julius said that tough decisions made in the past can be lessons learned for decision making for the future of PNG. The country today might learn from the hard decisions we made back then. Our current crisis reminds me of 1994. Perhaps all it requires is the courage, the courage to make hard decisions, the same hard decisions we made then. Adelaide Sirox, Kari National, MTV News.